Welcome to Second Take, the show that takes a look at the issues behind the news. Telcom's earnings decreased and the financial year ended March 31. Natasha Wendell tells us more about the group's results and its plans going forward. Hi, Natasha. Hi. Can you give us a breakdown of what led to the lower earnings? Well, basically, Telcom has faced a bit of pressure this year. Um, they've had a tough economic environment. They've had intense competition, um, political uncertainty, all of which have led to you know lower business and consumer confidence, and it has been impacting them somewhat. Also, during the year, um, corporate companies have reduced their ITC, ICT spend. Um, public sector spend has also gone down, and all of this has hampered their BCX unit and OpenServe units' um, performance during the year. In addition to this, voice, the lower use of voice is also impacting the business. I mean, um, obviously, with newer technologies coming out, the old traditional um, technologies, such as voice, is fading. So that is also hitting the business um, quite a bit at the moment, and they're trying to mitigate this in the best manner possible. Um, fixed line use, subscriptions and such are on the decline. Um, it's obviously no surprise there. Telcom's mobile business, however, delivered solid growth. Yes, that's right. It was actually highlight of the year. I mean, it, it delivered a lot of impressive growth during the year. Um, I mean, after years of working to try and bring the embattled unit up um, to the levels you are seeing now, it is actually showing a lot of positive momentum, um, a lot of possibilities that are coming out of this at the moment. Um, the actual growth in the mobile business is offsetting the decline that we're seeing in BCX and what we're seeing in OpenServe. Um, I mean, mobile service revenue this year alone um, grew 47%. I mean, contributing five billion rand to um, the flat revenue that Telcom as a group has reported for the year, and I think that was 41 billion. Um, this is also supported by, you know, the growth of um, subscriptions to 5.2 million, um, and obviously a rise, a double-digit rise in the ARPU. Um, a lot of this, well, CEO Sipu Maseko also attributes this to the investment that they've been putting in over the past year. The, obviously, the capital investment, the extension of their distribution channels, um, increased footprint, and their innovations that they're actually placing in the field at the moment. The group has refocused its strategy on new revenue streams. What's its next move? Well, basically, in order to offset the decline in, tra in traditional revenue, I mean, uh, it's a big strategy now for them to, to actually boost what they call the new revenue generating streams. Um, this is going to include, obviously, well, it does include the mobile business, um, fixed data, um, cloud computing, IoT, cybersecurity, big data analytics. So they are big, of, there's a big focus on that right now. Um, and while it's not exactly going to generate the level of revenue, um, that traditional voice has previously provided, accelerating momentum in that in those regions um, could actually become more sustainable for the company. It can actually bring it back to levels that it has previously been at. Now, Telcom, in order to leverage you know the new streams that are coming through from you know a new digital era, they're working to offset the pressures in voice. You know, compensate for this decline by pursuing strategic initiatives within those regions. Telcom is going to be expecting only single digit um, growth in this region for the next three or so years, but the focus is there. They're, they're looking more to fiber. I mean, fiber has been a significant growth story in, well, in South Africa as a whole, because more, fi more customers are actually uh, migrating from DSL to fiber because of the benefits that it actually holds. You know, and, and in terms of fiber increase as well, I mean, the active fiber to the home connectivity rate has surged to 37 uh, to 30.7%. Telcom itself has, uh, well, nearly 90,000 um, endpoints terminating at businesses. This is also a 70% increase from the prior year, from last year. Um, fiber to base stations have increased. Um, they've d Telcom has itself deployed, you know, over 150,000 kilometers of fiber. Um, nationally, you know, passing over 2.5 million premises. Um, so it shows that it actually remains quite a significant um, growth strategy for the company. You know, it's, it is a key future enabler for them. Um, and it obviously benefits a lot more people. 
Um, so focusing on stuff like that, you know, in addition to obviously the new digital era, is actually going to be one of the key focus points for Telcom. Thank you. That's the second tech show for this week. Thank you for watching and join us again next time for more news analysis.